there's one thing I did want to talk about, which is uh, sleep. And I found this like so fascinating. I, okay, you know, like I follow a lot of motivating people. Okay. And they're like, you don't need sleep. I just two hours and I'm just going to like power through the day. Like Jocko Willink is like, okay, I'm just going to have like five to six hours sleep. Like um, David Goggins, you know, like Cameron Haynes, Joe Rogan, all these people who are like big go-getters that don't require, like they allegedly don't require a lot of sleep. Okay. And then now I'm starting to think, Maybe it's because of the like drugs you're pumping into your body, like in terms of like mm. testosterone, um, you know, steroids, okay. all that stuff. Right. Maybe that's why you don't need sleep. Okay. I bring this up because Khabib, somebody asked him, Khabib, you know, like the yeah, yeah, yeah. fighter. Oh, yeah. That's one. Yeah. So somebody asked him, like, what's your secret to success? And he's like, sleep. <laughs> and I was like, what? Sleep? I never really got it. Okay. And then, Recently, like this past two weeks, I've been like bombarded with lack of sleep because I just had yeah. too many things going on, staying up too late, whatever, whatever. And then I have these trackers, right? So they tell me how much I've slept. And then on the days that I sleep like eight and a half hours, I'm like, oh, dude, I feel great. Let's go, right? And you know, I train, right? Jiu Jitsu and stuff. And I don't feel any pain on those days that I sleep. But then this past week, um, I've been having like six hours. My best time was six and a half. And all of the pains are showing up. And I'm like, what is going on? Like somebody hyperextend my elbow for an arm bar. Right. And uh, it, it normally wouldn't have hurt. Like the first few days when I was like eight hours sleep, it's like, okay, that's pretty good. Like it's a little tender, but like whatever, who cares? And then now that I've had like low sleep, like my back's hurting, my arm's hurting. I stood up and I was like, oh, my knee, like what is going on? Yeah. And then I realized like, oh, it's because I haven't been sleeping, <laughs> you know? But it wild. And then Tara was like, and then I was like in a fog. I was like, what are you saying right now? Like, I can't even comprehend, Compute, you know? Yeah. And then she's, yeah, right? Mm-hmm. And then, um, yeah, Tara was like, it's, it's because you haven't sleep, slept. And she's like, most people are living like this. Yes. But they don't know they're living like this. Mm-hmm. Wild. They, their emotions and I was like, are... wait, if this is how people are living. Well, yeah, they don't even know but that. Even that like, their, their emotions are controlled yeah. because of the lack of sleep. Right. It's wild. Your, like, tolerance bar is... And as somebody who has, like, pretty good control over their, like, emotions, me, speaking for me, like, it's like, my tolerance bar is very low. Like, my patience... Yeah, and if I've noticed it. Yeah, like, think Ooh. about it if you're doing it for continuous time, right? It, it, yeah. The tolerance bar is going to get shorter and shorter the more right. lack you continue to have lack of sleep. Yeah. And, and what's crazy is like the tolerance bar when people are like, like, what do you mean? You just have tolerance, whatever, whatever. But it's like, no, you're in pain and you're tired so very, and your brain's not working. Very quick to So you're like, bro, yeah. You, yeah, because you're like, you're like, oh, come on, man. Like, can't you see that I'm hurting? Mm-hmm. Whereas before, if you're feeling fine, you're like, yeah, I'll go do that. Whatever, I'll just do this, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know? But then if your like energy's low, that's why patience is like lacking because you're like, I'm sore, I'm hurt. Like, can't you tell? I don't want to go do this right now, you know? But if we just slept longer, we would feel better yeah. and we'd be more patient to like expend energy. Body heals. You know? Even like yeah. body heals, bro. It's wild. So like um there's like, a lot of grabbing in jujitsu, mm-hmm. right? So I've noticed that when I don't sleep. And especially in consecutive days, like these last two fingers really hurt. And I'm like, oh, dude, this is like arthritis. Cause I'm like <laughs> right, grabbing, right, right. you know, it's like, right. But then I realized, like, is this what old age is? I was asking Tara, like, like, do people think they're old because they're just not sleeping and recovering, but they're actually able to bounce back? They just don't know they can bounce back. You know, like when people get older, they're like, oh, dude, like, oh, another day. Like, oh, my back hurts. Oh, his arm. Well, that, you know, it's like maybe I, you just slept, those would go away, and you're like, oh. I'm well, it, de- it depends on how long you have been, like, lack of sleep, right? Maybe you like chronic, more, chronic lack yeah, of sleep. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So there could be, yeah, those are back pains that'll be even more worse when you're older versus if you had enough proper sleep in the younger ages when you get older, that you'll be more fine. Uh, yeah, we're more better off. Yeah. Right. It's like, it's like compounding. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. But I, I do feel like the body is resilient, though. Okay? So, like, 
so okay, so like I've been test so um I hadn't checked my blood pressure and my, my benchmark for health is my blood pressure. Because my blood pressure is high, I'm like, okay, something's off, right? So uh, I hadn't checked in a while. And then Tara's like um running those tests to be like for her prep course yeah, or like, yeah, yeah. for her exam. So she ran like a blood pressure thing and I was like, oh, it's probably gonna be like fine. And then it was a like, high again. It wasn't as crazy as before when I was having the uh the caffeine. But it was like elevated, like 136, let's say, or like 132, somewhere around that range. So anything above 130 is like high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. Like you should consider, like you should either change your life, but if you're not going to change your life, just take medication because it's prolonged periods of like anything over like one to four. I'm not a doctor, actually. Don't listen to me at all. Um, I just know that you shouldn't have a high blood pressure for a long period of time. And I was like in that zone. Um, Yeah. So... So then I was like, okay, I'm just going to drastically change everything. I just started eating healthy, whatever. And then I got my blood pressure down to 120 again, over 80, which is normal, which is like peak uh, in a matter of like three or four days. And I'm like, wow, the body is just so malleable, but it's all about the inputs you give it. And I know what I was doing wrong. Like I was like binging on food. I was like going off, you know? So it's like when I just cut those things out and I was just eating healthy, it like went back down. And you're like, oh, it's input output, bro. Like that's what the body is doing. You mm-hmm. know, it's like it. It's like if you give it lack of sleep, it's gonna perform poorly. If you give it the wrong fuel, it's gonna perform poorly, right? And like, I really wonder if these things like cancer, old age, um, like. I bring up cancer because like that's the one that nobody knows why it happens. You can guess, but but like the other ones like pretty obvious, like diabetes, too much sugar, high blood pressure, like you know, sodium yeah. or like your cholesterol levels. So it's like pretty obvious, right? But I wonder if because in the book of the myth of normal with Gabor Mate, he was saying that cancer is a psychological thing that manifests as a physical thing. Mm-hmm. You're always under stress, right? And we've built our world around stress. Right, you know, like wake up early, go get a job, get the kids. They're gonna pay for this bills, bills. Da, 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 right, our entire world is in a way is manufactured in a way that's like high stress. And if your body's never in, like stress is fight or flight, right? But if we're never in like rest and digest, how does your body heal? Right, mm-hmm. right. But our society is in is in like is programmed to be high stress all the time. Yes. Right? Like, wake up, pay the bills, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. feed the kids, walk the dog, go to work, get yelled at by your boss, come home. You know what I mean? Like, you hate your life. And if you're just stewing and, like, hate, it's like your body's always amped. Yeah. You know? And, and that, like, if people really are living this way, I can see how you're going to head towards a decline, if mm-hmm. that makes sense. Like if, if, if I saw my blood pressure and I was like, screw it, whatever, there's medication for that. Yeah. You know, as you could keep up what I was doing instead of changing the input output and then realizing, wait, our bodies are so malleable. I just need to change a few things and then I'll be fine. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, but that's the majority of our lives. Yeah. I don't know if, I mean, there is a shift in that thinking of looking at the uh, cause, but I don't, it wasn't like that before where it's just like, give me the thing that I'll just reduce the th- blood pressure. Just give me those pills. That's what I mean. Yeah, right. I, I right, think no, most totally. people just do that because they just don't want to change the way they live. Right. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally, totally. And I'm looking at, like, for me, my, my North Star is like old man strength. You ever see those, like, really old people <laughs> that are still fit? And you're like, dude, how are you doing this? But it's like, no, we can just keep doing this mm-hmm. as long as you're just mindful of what you're doing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 I yeah, really yeah. don't, right? I really don't believe in like old age. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's a thing. I think it's like, I think it's a narrative that gets pushed onto you. I don't think it's an actual inevitability. Right. I think, I I think, yes, it depends on how you treat your body when you're, when you're younger, right? As you get to old age, I feel like that's, that's where the main things come from how your body will react to the way that how you treat it yeah totally for sure for sure and that 
but but what I'm saying is like I think that's what becomes old age. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, because like how oh, how yeah mm-hmm. how like how badly do you get when you're old age is based on those compound those compounds of over time, right? Yeah, it, right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Totally. Totally. And and as somebody who like grew up kind of fearing that, you know, like as a kid, you're always True. well as a kid like. But I think that's just like weird trauma because my parents, like my mom is a nurse and then my sister became a nurse. And then, but they're like not even like, they're not like nurses in the conventional sense where it's like, oh, I'm just taking care of somebody. They're like critical care nurses. Mm-hmm. So there's every morning. It's funny because like as Tara like spend more, like as we, um, you know, spend more time as a family, like married now, like even before, you know, like the, like as we, I don't know how to explain this, but like as your uh relationship deepened through time sure you know she realized like oh your mom's saying like a lot of like uh, death stuff and i'm like that's how i grew up <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. he's just like oh wow your mom's like just always like seeing death and i'm like yeah but that's like that's me waking up mom comes home from work having breakfast she's like so this person died and uh we wouldn't believe they just cracked their head open and i'm just like oh okay yeah <laughs> And then just like freaking me out as a kid, like, oh, dude, this is just gonna happen, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my mom didn't know about like natural stuff. So, like, Tara getting into naturopathy, you're like, wait, there's other ways to do this? Or is my mom like, like my sister, I was like, oh, my blood pressure's high, right? And then I was like, oh, I got it down to 120 again. She's like, just, just so you know, in the future, you're gonna be on um, like high <laughs> blood pressure medication. I'm like, how you know that, bro? Like, what? Right, right, no, right, that's right. not an inevitability. But like to her, because like that's what they do, right? The, the, the prescribed narrative for nurses and doctors within the medical profession, you know, it's like just take the drug. We're all going to take the drug, mm-hmm. but you don't actually have to take the drug, you know. And I'm trying to see if I could prove that to myself as I get older, and I am, and I'm like, that's weird, because maybe we could all live in not peak condition but like we could all not have a terrible end to our story right it, right everybody thinks about old age and you're like oh i'm gonna suffer from dementia I'm probably gonna be on all these medications you know what i mean but it's like not necessarily right yeah right 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 and um and yeah i feel like that's like the unsung like nobody speaks about that maybe it's because it's something we didn't know about in our like youth right yeah, and yeah, naturopathy yeah. and stuff was not a big thing. That's what I'm saying. Like it's bigger or getting bigger now to understand it in that sense. But it wasn't. It was just more like, how do I just fix the problem versus yeah, solve a problem? Totally right. 